Shalom Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai Ba'ashem Rechav Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that preach the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amapa lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled The Exile, the Catholic Exile Hastening That He May Be Loose. You know, that's going to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing. You brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmon Shai. You know, and I'm going to start with the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, and verse 14. And it reads, The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose. That's right, man. You know, because we are all captives in Babylon and great, us Israelites. You know, and I look at the word exile. Exile means the state of being barred from one's native country, uh, typically for political or punitive reasons. You know, banishment, um, deportation, eviction. Yeah, you know, and this applies to the sense of the, to the nation of Israel because the Lord, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, has cast us out of our land, Jerusalem, which is our native country, due to our sins, our transgressions, you know, and worship of other gods. You know, and now we're exiled. We were exiled unto America, Babylon the Great. You know, and let's just look at that word captive real quick. Captive definition. A captive means a person who has been taken prisoner or an animal that has been confined. Yeah, you know, so we are, we have been taken prisoner because because. Because the scriptures say we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, in apocrypha, man. You see, and we are hastening that we may be loose, man. We want to be delivered from these chains, man. You know, because as a as of twenty twenty two modern day era, you know, we're not in slavery in regards to you know shackles and chains and stuff, fetters of iron. You know, we're captive by way of documentation. You know, such as having a social security card number, you know, um, identification, your driver license, you see, your birth certificate. Those are all documents to prove that we're slaves. You see, the, the fact that we have a passport, we have to, a passport is just permission, you know, to ask Esau if he can go to another country. You see, so we are yet this day in our captivity, man, and we hasten that we may be loose. You know, we want to be loose from this oppression, man, from Esau, even the so-called white men and, and the other heathen nations. You see, it says, and that he should not die in a pit, and right, and we are in a pit, man. You know, we are in a low estate because when you're in a pit, you're, you're lowly. It's dark down there. You know, we are in a dark estate, you know. Um, concerning our whole nation, you see, because we're lowly. Now, we are the children of light because we have the light, the truth, you know, but we are in the low position. We are in the pit, man, you see, knowing that his bread should fail. Yeah, we don't want our bread to fail, man. You know, the bread could be, will be the doctrine, you know, because bread is also synonymous with uh, truth, not just bread itself as for food. But, you know, spiritual food as well, too. Uh, even Yahweh Shai said that in, um, man shall not live by bread alone. I'm trying to get that real quick. Uh, Matthew 4 and verse uh, 4. Uh, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It reads, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. Right, so, you know, bread can also be related, you know, to, to the word, you see, and Yahweh Shai was quoting from um, Deuteronomy, you know, I believe it's the eighth chapter, you know, so 
you know, we don't want our bread to fail, man. Our spiritual bread, the, the that you know we, you know that we, because we're supposed to devour this wisdom according to Second Edges eight and four. You're supposed to eat the whole roll and digest and uh, the understanding. You see, this is a uh, Micah seven and seven. You know, Yahweh is a source of salvation and light. So therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. That's right, man. You know, so that's what we're doing. We're looking unto the Lord, man, because there's not a nation that can save us. You know, um, these these heathens can't save us from our condition. You know, our own people, they try to, you know, even though they sold out, you know, um, you know, prominent figures amongst the black community, such as Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, even though they were sellouts and it was pushing the right, the, the wrong vibration to our people, but they still was trying to, you know, deliver us from, you know, our oppressed state, you know, and that's why it says in the curse that no man shall buy thee, man, because the only one that's going to buy us who are demons is our Lord Yahweh, because the Lord, the heading for Yahweh is the one that um, brought us into this uh, low position into captivity and he's going to be the same one that's going to take us out of it you know and Yahweh's going to send his only begotten son back to deliver us man you know a, a mighty savior you know and we definitely need a savior man uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and verse um, 68 and it reads and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships now this is not talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about the modern Egypt, which is America. You know, according to Revelation 11 and 8, you know, it talks about, you know, Babylon being, you know, spiritually Sodom in Egypt, you know, and in the Egyptian empire, captivity, all it all 12 tribes were, were slaves. You know, there was a, a high concentration. There's a high concentration of Israelites. All 12 tribes of Israelites are in America, Babylon the Great, as of today. And that's where the same great deliverance is going to be, you know, America, you know, same as it was with the, uh, ancient Egypt. It says, And Lord, your house shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way, where I spake unto thee, you know, and them are the slave ships, because in ancient Egypt, we walked out of Egypt. You know, we didn't, you know, uh, we didn't have to go in ships, you see. And Lord Yahweh shall bring to Egypt again with ships. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You know, see what? No more again our land. You know? It says, And there shall you be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Yeah, so no man shall buy us, meaning deliver us, you know, redeem us from this from this captivity. You know? Um the word buys from the Hebrew word korna, which means to get, acquire, create, buy, possess, redeeming his people, you know. So no one can, no no carnal man on earth can redeem us out of this uh, low estate, this captivity. You know, only man that can do that is that little Yahweh shot, you see, which he's going to do, you know, because you read Isaiah 19. It speaks about that. Isaiah 19 and um, verse, uh, the point is in uh, verse 20, but I'm going to start at verse uh, 18 just to build up the vibration. Um, and it reads, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt, which is, once again, the land of Egypt is talking about America, you know, spiritually, you know. It says, In that day, Shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan? Now, the language of Canaan is the Paleo Hebrew. You know, Paleo meaning ancient Hebrew, you know, because, you know, that's our native language, you know, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, you know, because the Canaanites, they spoke Hebrew as well. It says, And swear to the Lord Yahweh host, one shall be called the sea of destruction. They're right. And that's Babylon the Great, you know, because that's. This is what the prophets will be saying. That America is going to be the city of destruction. America is going to be destroyed. You know, it's going to be this, uh, early destroyed, man. You know, and Babylon the Great is that great city. As the scriptures say, that's going to be destroyed by nuclear destruction. 
nuclear fire from them ICBM missiles. Uh, verse 19 says, In that day shall there be an altar to Lord Yahweh in the midst of Atlanta, Egypt. Right? What is the altar? You know, altar. In the ancient world, the priests will set up altars and they will sacrifice the clean animals according to Leviticus, the first chapter, you know, to atone uh, for their sins and the fellow Israelite sins that they will come up to the priests, that will come to the priests, you know. So, the scripture talking about, you know, we make our bodies live in sacrifice. So the altar will be, the modern altar will be these camps, you know, out on the highways and byways where we make our bodies a living sacrifice as opposed to the ancient world, it was sacrifice the lawful animals to atone for our sins. You see? So in today's day it will be going out on the highways and byways, making our bodies a living sacrifice, because that's what the Lord is pleased with. That is our reasonable service. You see? It says, In that day shall they be an altar to the Lord Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt. In a pillar at the border there with the Lord. You know, that's going out on the highways and hedges. Because when you're on the streets, you are at the border of the street. You know. It says, And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord Yahweh of hosts in the land of Egypt. Yeah, and this is a sign. You know, when the Lord will send out his prophets out, that is a sign for that particular kingdom that destruction is coming. You know, because when the Lord will send the prophets out, you know, most likely, you know, it was it was for bad, you know. Before the Lord brings down the kingdom, the Lord will send his prophets out as a sign that that kingdom is, is about to be destroyed shortly. You know, so the same thing with America, man. It's no different. It says, for they shall cry to the Lord Yahweh because of the oppressors. Yeah, we signed the crime, man. You know, you know we, we hate the lower state that we're in. You know, we... Earn rages to put in a bag of holes. As soon as we get paid, it's always something that has to be paid, man. Or some unexpected unexpected thing happen. You know, some unexpected situation occur where we got to use the funds that we saved for. You know, and we just live, you know, most of us is living paycheck to paycheck. We try to save, but, you know, situations occur, man. You know. You know, our women are, are harlots, you know, uh, children are rebellious. You know, we see, you know, our enemy, our no one, our enemy, Esau, Edom, you know, claiming to be us, you know, the small hats and our and the the people that we're all black today in the land in our land, you know, that call themselves J to the E to the W to the S, you know, so called. You know. So we just you know, we we tired of this stuff, man. We tired of working. You know. You know, the scriptures talking about that the, they 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 shall wear out the saints of the most high, man. And that's the oppressors wearing out wearing us out, man. Brothers got ailments and injuries, brothers is limping at work, you know. Backs is hurting at work, man. Just we just we just you know, we tired, man. We tired of this stuff. It says, and he shall send them a savior, and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And right, and that savior is our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, that, the great one, the mighty one. You know, because low only party elect, the Lord's going to deliver us, man, because our Lord Yahweh Shai himself even said he's only coming back for his elect. You know, he's not delivering all Israel, because all Israel is not of, a, is not of Israel. You know, there's, there's an elect within the elect. So... The whole nation of Israel is the elect, the chosen people of the Most High. But within those chosen people of the Most High, which are the Israelites, there's an, an elect of that, which is 144,000, the one, the one third. You know? Um, uh, let's go to uh, Matthew 24. Let's see. Uh, Uh, let's see. And he shall send his angels. This is, uh, Matthew 24, verse, uh, verse 30. It says, um, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which is 
a little Yahweh side. And then saw all the tribes of the earth mourn, you know. Because remember, you know, a little Yahweh side is coming with, you know, what he's going to say. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, which are the chairs of Israel, the so called UFOs, with power and great glory. Yeah, so when a little Yahweh side make a second return, you know, it's, he's going to come with power and great glory. Because everybody is going to, you know, mourn. You know, all the tribes of the earth mourn because it's going to be scary when our Lord come back, man. You know, we're going to lower the party left. We're going to rejoice, but we're going to be terrified as well, too, man, because, you know, we don't know if we're going to be saved. That's why we say, Lord willing, and that's why we do the works that we do so we can be saved, you see. It says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, you know, the four winds is north, south, east, and west because according to the curse in Deuteronomy 2864, you know, we have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, through the different captivities and stuff. So it's it, it's a high concentration of Israelites everywhere, but the main deliverance is going to be in America, in America, Babylon the Great, you know, because Isaiah 11 talks about the Lord, you know, going to other you know, regions around the earth to deliver, you know, the, 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 the elect, you see. But the main deliverance is going to be here in America, you know. It says, and they shall deliver together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. That's right. You know, so, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai even said himself that he's coming for his elect only. He's not coming for all Israel, man, you know. And, you know, for one last precept, let's get this real quick. Luke 1 and 68. This is uh, Luke 1 and 67, Zacharias prophecy. Now, Zacharias, this was the father of John the Baptist, you know, which uh, Zacharias, he was a Levite, a priest. Hence will, hence will make John the Baptist a Levite, a Levite as well. You see, it says, And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised and hath raised up an horn, which horn represents power, you know, a salvation for us in the house of his servant David, which, I, which is the Lord Yahweh you know, because... And the horn represents his power, and the Lord Yahweh Shai say he's going to come with power and great glory, as we just read in Matthew 24, 24, and uh, verse 30. Uh, it says, verse 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had been since the world began, because of, uh, which had been since the world began, because the, the holy prophets always been here on earth, even going back to the time of, uh, Adam and Eve, you see, that we should be be saved from my enemies and from the hand of all that haters. See, we have enemies, man. You know, all the heathen nations outside of us, you know, from uh, the Moab, the Chinese, the Ammon, Japanese, Esau, the so-called white people, uh, Ham, the so-called Africans, Air, uh, Ish Ishmael, the Arab, uh, which are the Arabs, you know, Elon, the East Indians, and the rest of the heathen nations. They are all our enemies, man. They are not our friends, you know. So they are they are all our enemies and they hate us, you know. And that's who the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us from, you know. It says to perform a mercy promise to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant to the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear, man. That's right. You know, so that's what we're looking for, man, to be saved from my enemies, from all the hand that hate us, man. And the only man that's going to save save us, Lord willing, we probably elect, is our Lord Yahweh side, man. So we just got to wait upon the Lord until he rises to the prey and just be blameless, keep teaching the word, being blameless, and just keep doing doing what we were, what we were commanded to do, which is to feed the sheep and uh, be diligent and fervent in spirit and Teaching his word, man. So, 
Yakim. I just want to make a quick lesson on that. Low willing aqua is edified. Now until next time, Shalom.